So the quiet pathway was established in order to get children who have sensory issues, mental health issues, anxiety, um, needle phobias, uh, intellectual disabilities, get them vaccinated against COVID-19. When they come to the quiet pathway, we have them enter through a separate entrance of the hospital so they don't have to go through concierge in the main entrance where it can be quite intimidating. Before they come in, we've spoken to the parents, we've asked what their likes and dislikes are. They met with child life therapy and they will try to distract them and calm them down. And we just try to make sure that it's a very low sensory environment. So why a child life therapist can offer to a child, young person or family, and also to the staff in the room, is first of all, just an extra pair of hands. So our role is really about solely focusing on the psychological safety of the child and their family. And that allows nursing staff to be freed up to get the vaccination done. And fortunately, this is a relatively quick procedure, but we can focus on keeping the child centered and calm, we can offer things like giving them a job that we know often helps them focus. We can talk to them about what anxiety does to your brain and how we know to bring your brain back to a place of calm and coping. We can bring our bag of tricks and have some things to distract them that they maybe have never seen before or can get quite excited about. And sometimes we can also offer a nice positive incentive at the end, a little something they can take away with them to really recognise that they were genuinely frightened, but they were able to overcome that and get the hard thing done. We give the child a lot of autonomy and a lot of choice over um, how the vaccination will go. So, you know, if it's a child that has, um, you know, they're sensitive to light, we can turn the lights down. Um, if, they, if it's someone who loves One Direction and that really makes them not nervous about things, if they've got that music playing, we can play that music. And if they you know, get scared and they just need a break, then we give them a break. We try to have minimal people in here to not overwhelm them. Yeah, the child really and the family really have a lot of input into how the vaccination will go. I think um, without this, or none of these children would be able to get vaccinated. So, you know, the most important thing for us is getting our community protected against COVID-19. And these group of individuals are a huge part of our community um, just because they have, you know, anxieties or fears or, um, you know, health conditions that make it difficult for them to get vaccinated doesn't mean that they should not be able to have it. So um, it's been really, really, beneficial to get those groups and we've got so many referrals so um, you know there's lots of patients that are benefiting from it. Well done. <laughs>